Hi, my friends. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome to our channel English with Alexander. And you see, really, it's a great video. So, 101 English conversations, not only for beginners, but for high levels too. Okay, for more practice, you can listen and repeat. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? I'm very well, thank you. Where are you going? I'm going home. Good luck. Good luck. What's your name? Alex. And what's your name? My name is Max. Where are you from? I'm from India. And you? I'm from the United States. What's your job? I'm a manager. Do you like your job? Not really. What's the problem? I'd like to earn more money. So, what are you going to do? I'm going to look for a new job. Okay, I understand. How old are you? I'm 18. And you? I'm 19. Do you have a boyfriend? Not yet. Let's go somewhere. All right. It will be great. Hi. Hi. Where do you come from? I come from Spain. Really? Yeah. I was there till 17. Then I moved to the United States. Do you speak English? A little. I can say simple sentences and phrases. What about you? I can't say that I speak English very well, but I can say what I want. I think I need more practice. How long have you been learning English? For about two years. How do you learn English? Mostly by myself. Where do you live? I live in this area. And you? I live not far from here. Can you say it more exactly? You just need to go ahead and then, after 300 meters, you'll see my house on the left. What are your hobbies? I really like English and football. Do you often play football? Yeah, quite often. Do you like watching TV? You know, I prefer to watch something online. Why is it so? It's much more interesting for me. By the way, we live in the 21st century. Do you have a family? Yes, I do. I have a large family. Do you have any brothers or sisters? I don't have any brothers or sisters. I'm an only child. What about you? I have a brother and two sisters. Do you work or study? I study. Where do you study? I study at university. Is it interesting for you? Right, it's really interesting, but I also feel that I need to get some practical skills. Are you on Facebook? Yes, I am. Can you tell me your account? I'd like to have a look at it. Sure. Here you are. Do you often use the Internet? Almost every day. Me too. My work is connected with it. 
As for me, I do it for work and pleasure as well. Do you like YouTube? Yes, I really like it. What channels do you watch? I mostly watch channels which help me with learning English. Okay, I see. What do you do for a living? I give private lessons. What do you teach? English. So you're an English teacher, right? Exactly. Where do you work? I work for a big international company. How do you find your job? Very exciting. What are your plans for the future? I'm going to continue studying there. Anything else? I'd also like to start looking for a job. Do you like sport? I'm really fond of it. I can't imagine my life without it. What kinds of sport do you like most of all? Tennis and badminton. Do you often read in English? Not so often. Why don't you do it? I know that it's a good idea to read something in English, but unfortunately, I have no time for it now. What do you like doing in your free time? I like spending time with my friends. Where do you usually go? Well, it depends. Mostly somewhere near. Do you often speak English with native speakers? I wish I could do it. The problem is that it isn't so easy to find them. What do you mean? I mean that you may find them, but should they speak with me? So, I mostly speak English with non-native speakers. Do you study well? I can't say that I'm the best student. You know, I have to tell you that I'm a bit lazy, so I try to do my best. Do you get excellent marks? Good or excellent? B or A. Can you speak English? Yes, I can. How did you learn it? Mostly by myself. I use different resources online which really help me. Have you ever been to America? Many times. When were you there last time? Two months ago. Would you like to live in the United States? I thought about it. What are your ideas? It would be good, but not now. I need to finish my education first. Would you like to move to England? Maybe in the future. What would you do there? I could study English there, then I could try to get into a good university and get a higher education in England. That sounds great. What's the weather like today? It's sunny and hot. Do you like this kind of weather? I like it when it's warm, but I don't like it when it's too hot. What was the weather like yesterday? It was really cold. Do you like this kind of weather? Are you joking? Yeah, we all like it when it's warm. What did you do yesterday? I stayed at home. Didn't you go to work? 
No, I was ill. What are you going to do today? I'm going to learn English more intensively. How long are you going to spend time on it? I suppose not less than two hours in the first part of the day. What about the second part? We'll see. What will you do tomorrow? I think I'll prepare for my final exam. What subject is it? History. I wish you good luck. Break a leg. Thank you. So you need to know that we say break a leg if we want to wish someone good luck. Yeah, it sounds strange, but okay, it's a fact. Just remember this very nice and useful expression, break a leg. So in fact, it has a very positive meaning. Yeah. So I wish you good luck. Break a leg means good luck. Thank you. Do you have a job? Yes, I do. What do you do? I sell different goods online. How often do you watch TV? Very rarely. You know, I'm not surprised at all. More and more young people are replacing it with the internet and other kinds of entertainment. Would you like to speak English fluently? Certainly. It's my big dream. What will you do for it? I think, first of all, I need to work on my speaking. I need to speak more correctly and faster. Do you think English is easy? I don't think it's so easy, but at the same time, it isn't so difficult. I agree with you. Let's look at Chinese. It's much more difficult. Where would you like to work? I think I'd like to have the same job. Wouldn't you like to have a higher salary? I wouldn't like to leave my company. I can get a promotion here. Where would you like to study? Abroad. Why not in this country? I'd like to graduate from a famous English university and get a job there. It sounds really interesting. Thank you. I believe one day my dream will come true. Are you married? No, I'm single. Do you want to get married? First, I need to find my second half. I understand. It can take you some time. When's your birthday? On the 26th of April. How do you usually celebrate it? I usually invite my best friends. How is life? Thank you. Everything is perfect. What about you? Thanks. Great. Where are you going? To the nearest supermarket. What do you need there? I need to buy some food. Let's talk about it now. Why not? It would be great. What do you want to tell me? I'd like to tell you one very important thing. I'm listening to you. Are you busy? No, I am free. Can you help me? Sure, anytime. How do you look after your health? I do physical exercises. What else do you do to keep fit? I also go to the gym. 
Do you go to the gym? Yes, I do. How often do you usually go there? It's usually two or three times a week. Do you like listening to music? I can't say that I'm a big fan of it, but I listen to it quite often. What kind of music do you prefer? Pop music. Where were you born? I was born in India. How's life there now? Very different. Why do you work there? I need money. So you are going to change your job in the future, right? As soon as I have this possibility. Do your parents control everything? No, I can do what I want. I know many parents control their children, but my parents know that I can do nothing bad, so they trust me. Do you have an English teacher? No, I learn English on my own. Why do you do it? I don't have additional money to pay for these lessons, and most importantly, I can do without them. What countries have you been to? I've been to Italy and Spain. Would you like to visit an English-speaking country? Sure, I think I'll start with the United States. What countries have you already visited? The United States, China and France. What about England? I'm going to visit it next year. Do you often talk on the phone? Yeah, it's my passion. How long do you talk on the phone? It can last for hours. Incredible! What kind of food do you like? Healthy food. I know for sure that I don't like junk food or fast food. I perfectly understand you. It is said it can ruin our health very easily. Would you like to do business? Not really. Why not? It involves lots of risks and responsibility. I feel it isn't for me. What subjects do you like? English and maths. Do you want to connect your life with it? I'll see. It's too early to think about it. What are you interested in? I'm interested in foreign languages. How many foreign languages do you know? Two. English and French. What are you keen on? I'm keen on music. Do you often listen to classical music? Actually not. I prefer to listen to something more modern. What are you fond of? I am fond of English. Do you know it really well? Not perfectly, but I'm working on it. What are you thinking about? I'm thinking about my future. Is it connected with your job? To tell you the truth, it's connected with my family. Did you finish your work? Not yet. When you finish it? In an hour. What's your English level? Beginner. What do you do to improve your English? I watch different videos on YouTube. Can you ride a bike? Sure, I can. Do you like cycling? Sure. I often go cycling alone or with my friends. Can you drive a car? Yes, I can. When did you learn to drive? It was about 10 years ago. Have you got a car? Yes, I have. 
Do you have a good car? Yes, it's very reliable and comfortable. I like Japanese cars. And you? Have you got a boyfriend? No, I haven't. Don't you want it? I want it, but I think about it seriously. I want to have a family. Do you have many friends? Not so many, but I have several very good friends. I also think it's very important to have so-called best friends. Where do you usually buy it? Online. Is it cheaper? Much cheaper. Are you tired? Not really. Do you want to go to bed? I need to do it because I have to get up early tomorrow. Aren't you happy? Not really. I'm not fully satisfied with my job at all. It isn't a problem at all. You can find a much better one. How do you improve your English grammar? I do different exercises. How is it? This method really works. I feel I need more practice to get rid of my mistakes completely. Do you understand native speakers? Not always. So you need to train your listening skills. I know that I need to listen to native speakers more to understand them. Do you read any newspapers or magazines? I sometimes do it online, but I prefer to read different articles, also online. I do the same. What time do you usually get up? At 7 o'clock in the morning. Isn't it too early? It's a little bit early, I know, but I got used to it. Will you be free tomorrow? No, I'll be very busy. Okay, we can do it the day after tomorrow. That would be great. What's the best way of learning English? I think when you learn it by yourself and see real progress. Other people can't learn the language for you. You need to take some efforts to. I absolutely agree with you. Do you often go shopping? As for me, I find it a bit boring. I see your point. It takes lots of time. Do you have children? No, I don't. Would you like to have children? Of course. I'd really like to have a big and happy family. How can you describe your boyfriend? He is very smart, handsome and faithful. When did you meet first time? It was a couple of months ago. How can you describe your girlfriend? She is very kind, beautiful and modest. How long have you been dating? For half a year. We are engaged now. Do you understand me? Not really. Can you repeat it? No problem. I'll say it again. Could you speak English more slowly, please? I'll try. Do you study at school? No, I don't. I go to university. Do you like your studies? Not always, but I can do nothing about that. Would you like to make a career? I think it would be fantastic. Why do you think so? The thing is that when you move up the career ladder, you can earn more and develop your professionalism as well. 
Do you like playing computer games? Not at all. How can it be? It may sound a bit strange, but I consider it to be mostly a waste of time. Our life is too short to spend it on unimportant things. How much money do you earn? On average, it's around $3,000 monthly. Not so little, right, but not so much too. Do you smoke? No, I don't. I know some people smoke, but my belief is that it's a bad habit and we can do without it. Only this reason? It's often said it can also cause very dangerous diseases, such as lung cancer. Do you have a computer? Of course. It's really difficult to find a person who hasn't got it nowadays. Is your computer powerful? Very powerful. I bought it for $2,000 last year. What's your native city? New York. When did you move to England? Ten years ago. Do you live together? No, we live separately. Do you like living alone? I have more freedom, but less fun and cares. Do you want to buy a new apartment? I'd like to save up some money for it first. How many years can it take you? About five years. Do you like watching movies? I used to watch movies a lot. What has changed? If we look at the present time, I prefer to watch short videos on YouTube. It doesn't take me much time and gives me a special drive. Who helps you financially? No one. Don't your parents help you? Are you kidding? I have a part-time job and it's me who helps them. I know, I owe them a lot. Do you work full-time? No, I work part-time. Why only part-time? I have to combine my work and studies. Are you a hard-working person? Most people say that I am, but honestly, I don't think so. How can it be? If we think that we are lazy, we have more motivation to be hard-working. What do you do in your spare time? I read books in English and surf the web. Isn't it boring? Not at all. Do you keep in touch with your classmates? I lost touch with most of them. We all have different cares and new friends. Do you sometimes see them? Only occasionally. Do you like buying expensive things? That's not for me. I prefer to spend the money I earn much more rationally. Don't you like luxury? That's not for me. Do you like wearing expensive clothes? If you ask my opinion, it doesn't matter. Expensive or inexpensive clothes? So I prefer to buy good clothes for a moderate sum of money. I tend to think so too. Are you surprised by the news? Greatly. I didn't expect it at all. How did it happen? Really? Who could have thought about it? How could it have been avoided? We can only guess. 
So you see, this grammar is really mostly for advasions. Could have thought. You see, could it have been avoided? So it's passive wo voice with could, and you need to know that we, you say could it have, not has. Yeah, just pay attention to grammar too. Yeah? Good. Do you enjoy learning English? You know, it's a great feeling when you're able to understand other people who live in different countries. What other words can you use to describe this joy, this feeling of happiness? Magnificent, awesome, something really unbelievable. Really, my friends, it's absolutely magnificent, awesome, and something really unbelievable. So it's a very interesting, intensive course, you know, for English speaking, or for speaking English fluently and correctly. And this course isn't only for beginners, but for higher level to, to yeah, you see, intermediate and more advanced students. Thanks a lot, my friends. Yeah, and see you on our channel, English with Alexander. See you. Bye-bye. Good luck.